Oh my goodness. All right. Oh, is our next guest. I was waiting, ready to go. There she is. Our, our next guest is a chef and cookbook author. Is that what you would say? Cookbook author? Is that what the term is? Yeah. Of uh, uh, a book called uh, Cooking for Artists. And she has the cafe over there at MoMA. PS1, Mina's. Uh, I'm just always happy to see her. Mina Stone is here. Mina, how are you? How are you? I'm doing all right. I'm doing okay. Uh, uh, we ran out of your olive oil, though, and I'm very sad about that. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you had uh, gotten a bottle. I wish I got a case. This stuff is good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's always nice to see you, even through uh, the screen. Um, it's uh, You're somebody who I'm always excited to see, excited to hear about, and what you're doing next. But as a person who's a chef, who relies on large gatherings, social events, how are you managing this time? Um, well, we're not. No. Fair enough. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm glad um, you could be here. <laughs> well, our, you know, obviously my career life has totally changed. Um, and it's, it's pivoted into writing. Um, That's okay. And, and that's, I, I feel really lucky for that. And as far as the large gatherings and uh, sort of, yeah, our life really revolved around people and gathering people and feeding people. And uh, I wonder what that future is going to look like. It's something we talk about a lot. Yeah. And, and have you found during this time that you have a lot of people kind of calling you up saying, hey, uh, what, do I, what do I do? I have this in my, in my cabinet and I want to make something. What's the good thing? Is there a spike in calls to the hotline? You know what? There is a spike in Mina. I made this out of your cookbook today. That's pretty good. Yeah. And it's really, it always makes me feel good. It's always really like a little jolt in my day, a little upper. Yeah, uh, but now a uh, quarantine butterball hotline wouldn't be a bad idea for you. <laughs> no, no. I think it's, uh, what do they call it now? The COVID-19? Yeah, that's one of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I would certainly give you a call and see what to do with some of the things that I've got going. You and Allison Roman probably got the market cornered right now on what people are making. Um, uh, is there something that you have made that you just, uh, uh, you, you love? You, it's like your go-to thing, the thing that's always in your pantry? Um, I'm always making granola. Granola. Yeah, so we uh, brought all the stuff from the restaurant to our house right when the quarantine started. And I had so much oatmeal and I found it really overwhelming and I don't, you know, I don't like to have a stuffed cupboard, but anyway, and I also not a huge fan of oatmeal sometimes. Yes. But granola anytime. It's really oatmeal's more elegant cousin, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. I grew up on a lot of oatmeal. Yeah. Oh, oh, I have, oh excuse me. A little <laughs> toddler. I'm sorry. That's, I'll be right back. That's right. Little uh, sous chef. Uh, there, probably. Oh, oh you heard oatmeal was on the agenda. Kelly, you can relate. You can relate. I can. I get cranky too. I'll be <laughs> honest with you. I've been inside a long time. Um. Yeah. The but the granola recipes on my Instagram. Oh well, that's wonderful. Yeah. And, it's uh, really simple. Has there been anything you've just been so excited to try? Like you've ne you never would have made this before, but uh, yo, am I going to try borscht? No, I didn't go that far. My uh, my best friend, uh, who you know, Julie Miller, she yes. I think she's watching us tonight. Hi, Julie. But uh, she's been living down the street from me, and what's been really nice is we've been walking to each other's houses and sort of passing off a bag of food that we make. Oh. And I think the one time I took a pass was when she told me she made borscht. And I said, you know what, I'm gonna skip this. I'm gonna skip this pass between us. <laughs> well, I've been making uh, curries and uh, they're not good. Really? I love a curry. Yeah. I do too, just but not mine. Well. 
<laughs> I don't know. I'm only on my third one. Maybe it'll get better. I'm so sorry. I'll be right back. <laughs> That's okay. Do you need a lot of time? <laughs> Look at this wonderful couch, though. Like, that's a couch you could be quarantined with and be all right, you know? Just be comfortable. <laughs> well, friends, we can just do a, and like a, another half hour of furniture talk. I'm curious about the plant. I don't know if it's real or not. Hi. Hi. Oh, hello. Yes. <laughs> All right. I mean, this is real life, right? It's very, listen, this is what it is. We're all managing and we're all together in all the spaces. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, um, now, have you found any other cookbooks that you've been going to that you uh, just love to, to read through and seek out and maybe find a comfort food that's not granola or some weird well, soup? Well, I love this cookbook called The Flavors of Aleppo. It's a Syrian cookbook. I always like uh, a, an ethnic, like a new ethnicity I can learn about their cuisine rather than more of the modern day cookbooks, which I love to look for, like look, flip through. But the ones that specify a certain cuisine or culture of a culture, I kind of really pour through. And that one has really good recipes. I highly suggest that cookbook. They're really simple, very different, very informative. I like all of those things. I've been really enjoying Tony Tipton Martin's Jubilee cookbook. <laughs> I don't have that one. Oh, it's a nice, good, it's a good thing to read. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, I can't get my muffins to rise, though, Mina. How is that possible? I don't know. Don't say it happens to everyone either. <laughs> it's uh, very difficult. Um, so uh, now I apologize. This is a lot of uh, uh, adoration coming your way. But uh, I, I don't think... In, in the in the history that no one has made better food that I've eaten. Uh, I mean, oh, it's truly exceptional. You. And and especially when you get to the, because I go to a lot of, I've eaten at every museum cafe there is. I have to kill a lot of time because my wife's often on some kind of workshop deal in different cities. And so I test out the museum cafes. I've eaten in every single one. And aside from a chicken salad sandwich at the uh, Museum of Contemporary Art in Jacksonville, Florida, Mina's Cafe has the best food of any of those things. Wow, that means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Absolutely, thank you. And the, and the good thing is when you know Mina, uh, you say hi, and then she brings you out little treats. That's, uh, <laughs> that was I my like favorite that. part of having a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and do you think it's gonna come back? You're gonna, I mean, is, you still got the space? Uh, we still have the space and I, it will pro most likely come back, but I think it's gonna come back in a different iteration. Okay. All right. Well, I will be there no matter what. And are you involved in any uh, uh, relief effort kind of things for restaurant folks? Not that you have to be, but... I am not. No. Uh, we have a, we have a sort of a, pro, like a little group amongst us to help one person that worked at our restaurant get through this. Okay. Good. Yeah. And what are you writing? I assume cookbooks, but maybe not. I am writing two things. I'm writing my second cookbook, and um, I'm also interviewing artists for uh, MoMA magazine. Wonderful, great. And I'm interviewing those artists about uh, a recipe that they make that relates to them or is a part of their family or comforting somehow. Well, that's very appropriate for these times, I Mina. It sounds yes. wonderful. And we will look forward to that. And uh, thank you for being here, Mina. Thank wonderful. you for having me. It's wonderful. Thank you. I wish you good health and the whole family there, too. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and your couch, who I had a lovely chat with. <laughs> All right. We'll see you in a little bit. All right. Uh, thanks for being here. We'll do a cosmic dinner sometime.